down like a pair of baby's knickers. Well, it's your own fault, isn't it? Nobody's perfect, Ronnie. Highly emotional, man, is Mick, isn't he? Unstable temperament. Well, you ought to be grateful he didn't dislocate your shoulder. Very good at that, is Mick. Aye. It's a good job they call that drive at the transport cap and all, otherwise he would have dislocated your head. To err, Lionel, it's flipping you. Well, I reckon you should have stuck to ventriloquizing, old lad. You'd have been better off. Are you clocking off, then? Oh, I suppose so. Well, cheer up, mate. You'll be back tonight. Thanks. <laughs> all right, lads. Swap your trots. Well, unless you fancy putting in the day shift and all. Uh, except you, Archibald. It's just like a word in your ear. With your permission. Well, it's all right. He's gone, and I've got the chitty. It's all right. Oh, I'm very pleased I am to hear it. All's well that ends well, eh? Oh. <laughs> Oh. Uh, oh. Archibald, would you say that I'd been uh, a little hard on you tonight? Now, come on, uh, tell the truth now. Well, it was me as made a pig's ear out of it, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, no, now, be honest. Uh, I did give you the run around, didn't I? Oh, well, a bit, I suppose. Only for the last four hours, mind, non-stop. <laughs> Good! Because that's nothing to what you can hear in the future, eh? One more mistake, just one, and you're out feet first, right? Well, I'll try a bit more careful in future. That was enthusiasm more than anything. Probably, you know, enthusiasm. Well, yeah. I think it's just plain flame and ignorance. Right, you've been warned. Just one more trick like last night and you're finished. Right. See you tonight, then. Half seven, we start. Like everyone else. Yeah. What about this buzz I've heard floating around town? Buzz? Yeah, about five PPOP committee members supplying Fraser with the fittings. Fittings for the nightclub? Yeah, carpets, furnishings. Yeah. All with a big fat discount and all. And his mate, Alderman Langton, selling the place for a big fat profit. Are you sure of your facts, Mr. Fairclough? It's all around the town, love. Somebody's made a right tatter out of him. Very well, Gordon. Thank you very much for for all you've done. I mean, we <laughs> I think we're not appreciative. We are. Yes. Bye. Well, in the words of Mr. Fraser, the war is over. I very much regret to announce that he's the winner. I'm coming. Let's get home. I've done it for kippers. What are you doing up there anyway? Ken? What's up? Nothing. Just having oh. to lie down. We did this on the table. Are you feeling all right? Yes. You know, it's getting just about impossible at school. What is? Everything. Every time the headmaster looks at me, it's like being caught with a knife. Look, are you coming down for your dinner or not? Valerie, I'm talking about my life. You're not discussing the price of cabbages with Florrie Lindy. I'm your husband. And I'm not your headmaster. I can't do anything. No, true enough. I wish I was Florrie Lindy. You might at least be on my side. So that's marriage for you, isn't it? Great institution. Oh, it is. There you are. Somebody agrees with you. That's what you like, isn't it? I think marriage is terrific. Lonely, but it's fun. What the hell are you talking about? About you, love. It's the only subject you're interested in. Is it? Is that why I'm trying to do something with my life? Is that why I'm going through all this? Oh, I'm not talking about that. No, of course you're not, because it's important. Because you might have to think. 
And because I might need your help, and that wouldn't do, would it? No, all you're fit for is mithering about me dinner. It's about oh, all the things you're with you. your wife. I'm supposed to get your meals. Look, if I'd wanted a housekeeper, I would have got one. I thought I'd married a person. Someone with feeling. And someone who thinks something about me. Oh! And you don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? You never did. What are you doing here, then? Oh, I was just tidying up a bit. Um, your cleaning woman's got flu, oh. and she sent a, a message round to Ken's dad at dinner time, and uh, I just thought... Well, I didn't come home, actually. I was on school dinners. Oh. Well, I don't want the old bat any harm, but how long's that flu likely to go on for? Why? Well, it's much nicer coming here to find you home, isn't it? I mean, well, uh, she is at least 185 if she's a day. <laughs> Mind you, she's pretty with it. Oh, seriously, Val, I mean, it's potty you coming to clean here, isn't it? I mean, well, look at the place. And anyway, you've got enough on your plate with Ken, haven't you? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you've got to look after him and keep the house tidy, then. Oh. What did you think I meant? I thought you always got out of school dinners. Well, yeah, you did used to, before the accident. You know, it's a funny thing, Val, but the staff have been bending over to be nice to me ever since it happened. What have you got in the bag? Hmm? Oh, evening meal. Oh, heavens, is that all you're having? I'll cook you some. No, nah, don't bother. I'll plop an egg on it. Not quite the sort of delicacy I used to get at number nine, but it'll do. Slice of toast, spaghetti, two poached eggs, salt and pepper, and burn to taste. You're another one who doesn't need a wife, aren't you? What's the matter, Al? Nothing. What's wrong between you and Ken? Nothing, Dave, honestly. Nothing at all. Look, did he tell you that he doesn't need a wife, did he? Oh, the stupid nit. You can tell him that for me. He doesn't know when he's well off. Oh, you don't mean that. What? It's a good job I wasn't around when you were single. He really would have had something to worry about. Look, is it because you didn't get the job? Is that what? Oh, happened? no, no. It's got nothing to do with that. Come on, love, sit down. Oh. What is it, then? I'm all right. Honestly, it's probably the weather. Winter gets on top of me. Oh, well, don't cry, please. Come on. I don't like it when you cry. Yeah. Oh, thanks. what I can do to help you. Every time I open my mouth, I get on his nerves. Sorry, Val. Oh, God, that sounds wet, doesn't it? But I, I can't think of anything else to say. Oh, there's nothing anybody can say. We married the wrong ones, that's all. Hey. 
You've broken our fag now. I'm sorry. It's all that weight lifting. Well, I forgot to put a new paper on your oh. shelves, Dave. I'm no sorry. worry, I can do that any time. Oh, dear, I shouldn't have come, but I just couldn't bear it stuck in the house. You did right to come, Val. Oh, Val, can't you talk to him? We can't talk. Val. Look, look, talking's the easiest thing in the world. It's much easier than eating your heart out. Talk to him like you talk to me. Oh, I'd better get back. Thanks for coming, kid. What for? It's no cleaner than when I came. Well, I'm glad you came, anyway. Well, try then. Smile. No trouble? Oh, no trouble at all. I just explained to Mick. He's very understanding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one of the um, fellas, one of the knits, sent the Leeds Lord to Glasgow last night, the great knit. Oh, yeah? Did he? Scream, isn't it? Scream? I think it's appalling. That's what I said. I said it was appalling. We all said it was appalling, all of us. Elsie? You look marvellous. Remind me to get you a few more of those. I'll do, just that. Well, I'll just get ready. Right. Yes, I've got to keep me employees looking smart, you know. Oh, don't be so daft. I can't go raking in the chips out in this outfit. That'd be asking for trouble. Well, I'd better show a bit of graft, Jing. I'm sure will. Do a bit of graft. You know, I just bethought myself. Will I get tips? Not if they're losing at the rate I want them to, you won't. Hmm. I always pictured myself at Monte Carlo and we're rather good at it. Well, uh, I'll say good night then, shall I? No, reckoning all them fivers. <laughs> I don't know about work. It sounds more like pleasure. Well, that's what work's supposed to be, isn't it? <laughs> Tomato juice for you, dear. Yes. Hey, yes. Thank you. And drink. for you. And you did want a grape. Yes, yes. Now, let's see. That's get two and four. And there's a grape. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three and two. Thanks very much. OK. OK. Everything's okay. I'll, uh, I'll just pick it up. Are you all right, uh, Kenneth? Dear? I don't need anybody's help. Thank you. Kenneth, there's nothing worrying you. No. Oh. Often. Good. I'll have a scotch, please, Mrs. Walker. A scotch, Ken? Yes. A scotch. A double scotch, please. Oh. Well, if you're sure you. Yes. Bye. Oh, I Mrs. Shoppels, you don't mind old copper, do you? I mean, it's been just the same. Well, go and tell you what, the rot's setting in. You, you what, love? Young Barlow over there. You see? That's what the nightclub on your doorstep does for you. Oh, steady on, lass. It hasn't even been opened yet. I don't think what it'll be like when it does. No, oh. oh, but it, don't, it isn't only here it's happening, is it? It's all up and down country. What is? Moral behaviour. There's never been out like it. Never in the history of the world. Oh, I don't know, Martha. I think there has. Right, well, what do you know about it? Oh, well, there was plenty of shenanigan went on in our time. Shenanigan? Oh, well, uh, you know what I mean. Only, I remember enough from my turkey trotting days. Well, what do you do? 
Oh, it wasn't me, you know. I was always very respectable. But I kept my ears open. Well, go on. What did you hear? Oh, for goodness sake, she's going back 40 years. You've been hard up for scandal tonight, aren't you? And if it's Lily Barclough you're into that, rest her soul, <laughs> you can think again. That band leader was very happily married. And you should know, you made sheep's eyes at him long enough. Nothing, honestly. Your eyes are all red from crying and you've changed your dress. Look, love, I've been married nearly three years myself. I don't need to be a detective. What time is it? Five to nine. I don't understand it. Where would he be till this time? Why doesn't he come home? He hasn't had any dinner. Oh, he... He's probably gone to see the headmaster or something. Probably just forgot to mention it. Hurry up. I want to talk to him. Yeah, but he'll probably be in later. Now, though, it won't do later. Look, Valerie, I don't know what it is you've had words about, but things are never as bad as they seem, believe me. Oh, aren't they? Look, love, he'll come in He'll wolf his tea down. He won't notice your dress. I mean, naturally, they never do. But you'll be billing and cooing inside ten minutes. You mark my words. He said he doesn't know when he's well off. That's his trouble. Kenneth did. He said talking's the easiest thing in the world. It's much better than eating your heart out. Well, if Kenneth said that, then everything must be all right. Look, love. If a man's got that through his skull, you can't wish for more. How are you feeling now? Oh, I feel much better, thanks. Right, well, i better get back to the Hewitt clan. You sure you're all right? Yes, thanks, Miss Hepter, thanks. And no more tears. Well, if there's anything like Harry, he'll hate to see you crying. Oh, sorry to have been like this. Oh, get on with you. I'll tell you what, you write him a little love letter and you put it by his paper when he's having his tea. Bye, love, bye. I oh, might talk to him. He's got problems. He's welcome and all. Hello, Kenlad. <laughs> what the heck have I done to him? Hello, oh, mate. What are you doing here? She sent you on the beer now. No, no, it's uh, she's got some friends around, so I've had to come out with some bevy for him. Uh, just soft drinks and cordials. And Why? Well, oh, they're not bevy shoppers. What? They're not friends of yours, not every drinkers. I'm disgusted with you. Well, it is uh, Miss Nugent and Mr. Swinley. Oh, in that case, you got time for a pint, then? Well, no, thanks. I, uh, Mara said not to be above a minute. That's so. all right. Then he can get me one, then. And me? Well, no, uh, I've not time. I'm Two pints, pushy. please, Jack. And a vodka and lime. And a rum. Right, well, uh, up. I mean, I mean, be right. Now, I'm look, a bit pushy. When your boss is treating you, keep your gob shut. Oh, well, I mean. I did say I'll be back soon. I mean, uh, I, I won't can't keep you long much anyway. I tell you what, though, I was thinking of taking on another apprentice, you know. Oh, eh? You know, I'm doing so well with the Raincoat Factory and Florrie Lindley's now. Have you got any ideas? Well, let's see. Uh, there's Eddie Thomas. Uh, he's a good worker. He's at Patton and Greens. Mm -hmm. And Danny Randall. Uh, he works at the same place, all Thomas right? Thomas and Randall. Ah, that'll do to be going right, on. Right, well, they are two points. Thank that? you very much, Jack. There you are. Get that down, you lad. 
Hey, lads, have you seen how to be caught? Sean, tea break, they're going like a fucking court. Just dying for it. But Lionel, where have you put me caught? Now oh, you should be more careful, Arch. You're always losing things. Johnny, Johnny, are you there? Have you seen how to be caught? Oh, thank you very much. Oh, look. Blimey. Hey, lads, who's been smashing profits? Lads, crikey, who smashed all this? It's fella. I'm looking for a small crate. Oh, well, we've got plenty down here. Anything off the bottom shelf. <laughs> and that's the crate I'm looking for. Right. Hey, mate, that's hang, it. Hang on a minute. I only found it like this. I didn't do it. Perhaps it was the boys over there. Lionel. Oh, you know. was it now? Well, the managing director will be very pleased to hear it. It's his personal property. A wedding present. Right. If Lionel did that, he's fired. He's what? You heard me. Oh, well, uh, Lionel didn't do it. I did it. I, w I went berserk. I did it on purpose. Yeah, I, I did it all deliberately. You said it was Lionel. No, no, it's me. It's definitely. All oh, right, it suits me. I'll see you get a week's pay in lieu. Collect your cards in the morning. I don't want to see your stupid face again. Honest? Well, um... <coughs> Uh, Clear out! Do, do, do I have to stay the night? Not if you want to stay on one pace. Oh, right, well, uh, thanks, Mick. Uh, you're well, a well, pal. You <laughs> what? Right, Ta -ta. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. Funny, you know, Myra invited Mr. Swindley around like that, you know. Now, mind you, I've seen him looking at her in that shop. You are? Well, it's common knowledge around here. Married two minutes and... Bingo. What is? It's only infatuation, mate. I don't think really it'll last. I don't know what you no. mean, I'm sure. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Yeah. Uh, well, a pint and, uh... Evening, Ken. Evening. Just been round to your house. Congratulations. Val isn't feeling too grand. He ought to go home. Hey, Ken, lad, are you deaf? She said the Val's a bit under the weather. <laughs> so what would you like me to do about it, then? You could try going home for a start. Why? <laughs> what is there at home? Uh. 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 Uh.
What are you doing here, Val? What do you want? 